Cancel Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Twin Flame reading. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details, and I'll never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Scorpio, this is your Twin Flame reading. I do apologize for the length of time it has taken to get this reading out to you, but I was unwell there for uh, quite a while, and I had to go to my folks for a little bit of extra TLC, but I'm nearly back to best. Uh, so thank you so much for your wonderful patience, and as you can see, I'm back in my usual surroundings. Um, the first card is going to be your card, second card is your person's, third card is your unified energy, and this reading is good for the end of July, right through to the end of August. It is a twin flame connection for those who are currently in separation from their twin, so let's see what's happening for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio regarding their twin flame connection? What is happening with their twin flame connection at this moment of time? Okay, I'm going to get all of your cards first before I... Uh, energetically read your cards. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Um, oh yeah, I can see that. Seven of Wands for you, my beautiful Scorpio. You've been very, very strong in this connection. And um, I feel like you've not 100% given up on this connection, but I feel part of you is very, very cautious. You've been really marked by this uh, twin flame journey. It has been a very difficult one. And at times you've lost hope, felt confusion, despair. Uh, you know, even a, a test of faith or a lack of faith in the connection. You may have even wondered if this person is your twin flame or if it's a false flame. Uh, I will actually... Um, oh, okay. I will actually... They want me to go two more, which is so unusual. But anyway, uh, I'll give it for you. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? What do they need to know regarding this twin flame connection? Uh, I will... Okay. Um, I will say that twin flame connections, two people, they are energetically charged in exactly the same way. You may have felt like this person just knows you intrinsically. There is a deep connection between you both that you cannot explain. It's like you've met each other each lifetime, which of course you have, but it's like a moth to a flame. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of intensity, but there tends to be a runner and a chaser and a separation period. If you think about twin flames like magnets, they are magnetically charged where they attract each other but also repel each other. The intensity is so much, but they remain apart unless both polarities are changed in some way to sort of spiritually evolve and then we've got a match, okay? So it's like magnets. And what People who are the chaser, for example, there will be one party who just knows they've met their twin and they're willing to be vulnerable and open up and take a leap of faith into the connection. They're called the chaser. And then you've got the runner who knows that they've met their twin flame, but they feel deep anxiety or they feel, um, you know, there there is um, triggering going on with either trauma or, you know, uh, trust issues, maybe even abandonment issues, and they bolt from the union. They deny their feelings and they take a step back, okay? Very painful experience. Um, not everybody gets to be their twin in this lifetime, of course, but that is 
the point of twins. They, they do eventually come back together if both parties are willing to spiritually evolve, but they must do that separately. Each twin also may feel like they have some sort of mission on this life, uh, on this uh, earthly plane, um, and you've got to connect to that before you spiritually evolve with your twin, uh, which sometimes even avoidance of your spiritual path can delay the twin flame connection. Okay, so I just want you to be aware of that. Um, now, it's so interesting because we've got uh, basically, the first card here is your card, the second, uh, sorry, the first card here is your person's card, this one is your card, and then your person's card is this one, and then this is your card. So I feel you, this person is coming to talk with you, but you may feel like you are in runner mode now, okay, um, because you're cautious. Now, the chaser becomes the runner, you flip polarities. Both of you need to walk in each other's shoes before you come together. It is not a game. It is an energetic exchange of two people trying to level and balance out their frequencies before they come together in union, okay? Um, so I see you um, being the person your person is coming towards you. Let me just put it like that. But I see you, Scorpio, being the person who is denying this connection at this moment in time when this person comes forward. I mean, even the Page of Cups, this person is offering their love. Whoa, okay. Six of Wands. This person wants what you want, okay. Um, it looks like you are wondering if this was a... How can I put this? If this was just a chemistry test in terms of your connection with this person, because you knew that you love this person. This person was everything that you wanted um, in a person. This person is your twin. You just know. Scorpio, you just have a tendency to know when you've met the one. Uh, it's like a psychic bond immediately with the person. You merge with the person that you know that you're meant to be with. And the person that you're with... Um, they're wearing a suit of armor. I'm going to get to the cards now in a moment, but I just want to uh, give you what the energy I'm feeling right now is that this person has done a lot of soul searching. Your twin has done a lot of soul searching. And I always say this sentence, it's a very important sentence. We can only meet each other as deeply as we, or we can only meet the other person as deeply as we have met ourselves. Okay. So you've met yourself very deeply, my beautiful Scorpio. Your twin didn't, did not do a lot of spiritual work before they met you. They may be spiritual, but they haven't gone as deep as you have. So this person, it's not that they're superficial, it's that this person is learning and you were a catalyst to teach them to go deeper. You may have even felt that. Anyway, let's get straight on to the reading. The first pile is your pile, second pile is your person's, third pile is the unified energy, and you've got the one who doubts. So you're wondering if this twin is even your twin flame or whether it's a false flame. I feel like you've been asking yourself a lot of questions recently, even though to begin with, you knew that this person was everything you ever wished for. You, you know that this person brought a satisfaction and a depth of passion and awareness that you'd never felt with anybody before. You wanted to go deeper with this person. And Scorpio, you don't tend to want to go like deep, deep, with a person unless you feel they truly are connected to you in a way that is otherworldly. I know that sounds a little bit egotistical, but that's not the case. You just are the sort of person who doesn't suffer fools gladly and you don't tend to waste your time or your energy on people or situations that are not intimate, deep, passionate, and real, okay? You, you know, I feel this This actually came up in a reading um, a couple of days ago for you. You can't discuss the weather. You can't discuss like things like that. You're the sort of person who's like, let's go deep. Let's go to uh, a conversation that has a lot of depth and fearlessness. You know, so I feel you you went to this depth with this person. You, you started to merge with this person. And it says here, fear, wariness, trust. Now, I feel... You may have had trust issues before you met this twin because we tend to have um, things that need healing within ourselves just before we meet our twin. So 
Our twin actually triggers the things that are necessary to heal within ourselves. So if you had trust issues before you met this person, your twin is meant to trigger that so that you can process it and release it. And you're meant to trigger things within your person also um, that has to be fully process before they can come to you right. Uh, remember, the cup of love always starts for ourself first. So if you met your twin and in this cup there was trust issues, um, addictions or self-loathing or insecurities, that is the thing that you exchange with your twin and vice versa. So you think of all the things that they've put in their cup as well. I feel you, you love this person. This person sees you as a beacon of strength, someone who is actually fearless, someone who was willing to go to those depths and they were not at that time. But now I feel like they've done a lot of soul searching and I feel this person has become stronger in some way in their world, standing on their own two feet. And I feel like this person wants to come. They're, they're, they, they want to come, they're seeking you. They want to come find you is what the energy they're giving me. But it says here, fear, weariness, trust. So as you can see, th this figure here has got a mark across their eye. So you have been forever marked by something in your life experience, my beautiful Scorpio, whether that is something from childhood, whether it's uh, you witness parents divorces, divorcing or guardians separating or cheating, or whether you've experienced that in your lifetime, I feel like it may have distorted the way that you look at love. Even though you have so much love and care and devotion to give and you gave this person, there's a little bit of hesitancy, okay? And that may have come from love itself, an experience in love in itself. I mean, it could even be down to um, whether you were bullied as a teenager or as a child, and it's made you feel insecure. So when you've met someone that you truly want to open up to, it makes you feel a little bit hesitant. What if they don't accept those things within me? This person, uh, I feel like this person will accept the things within you, just like you were willing to accept this person twin it's almost like I want to say warts and all not that this person's got warts well I hope not but, but I mean you know even if they do um what a wart is just a growth right anyway uh, I just get it as in you are willing to accept this person's path their present and willing to take the future with this twin as long as they were honest and open with you. I'm gonna see why this twin flame connection has been blocked in some way, but as you can see there, I feel like you've been marked by this, and this person has left a mark on your soul. But it's almost like either you saw something, it, it, it's across the eye, so the, my guides are actually pointing to the eye. Either you saw something or you witnessed something when you were younger, before you met this person, and it has made you mistrust. This person in the separation period has amplified that, okay, because of their actions. I'm not here to take anyone's side. I'm here to try and understand the depth on each person's side so that I can transmute an outcome that will um, be beneficial towards you in some way. Um, now, they're showing me the gemstone in this, and it's green. They're telling me green is important. So either this is, you know, I don't want to say it's jealousy, you know what I'm, because I feel, Scorpio, that you're not someone who is naturally jealous. It is experience that has taught you to be strong and you are aware of other people's motives and seeing below the surface. So sometimes because you understand that depth of the human psyche, you can understand people and their actions maybe three or four steps ahead of their actual actions, if that makes sense. So for example, if you're at a party, I don't know why they're giving this to me like this, but they are, so I'm gonna have to give you what they're giving me in the energy. Um, if you're at a party with your twin or with your partner and you see someone checking out your partner, you just know that this person is in some way thinking ahead of trying to make a move on your partner and you feel that in your soul even though your partner may be blissfully unaware you can see it so it makes you feel anxious okay so sometimes people can mis misconstrue that as jealousy I feel what they're trying to give me in this it's not jealousy it is more like you can feel the undercurrent of change within the dynamics so therefore 
it can stem back to control as well. I mean, we've all got elements of wanting to control things, but we have to be aware that we can never control we can never control another person's actions. And the more that we try and make a person stay or the more that we try and prevent something from happening, sometimes we actually amplify that and it it's almost like a self-prophesizing event. I, I don't know why they're showing me that. So maybe they're, sh they're suggesting any trust issues can amplify um, what we think about, we can bring about, if that makes sense. Now, they're just showing me hesitancy and a caution with your twin flame. And I feel like you've been focusing on other things. You may think about this person from time to time, but you don't trust this person, okay? Uh, also, I feel like your worst fears may have come true with this person. Either they abandon the connection. I'm gonna pull a card and see what went on there. Um, but I feel like you've had to be strong. You may not have even let this person see your pain, okay, is what they're showing me. And you may have felt imprisoned by this energy for quite some time where you didn't look at another person or you just couldn't focus on loving another person because you met your twin. But I feel part of you is sort of wishing that things could be better. You're trying to respond differently to this challenging situation. And I feel that seven of wands there is about you being strong and coming out of any restraints or anything that's been holding you back, okay? Ace of Wands. When you met this person, because we got an Ace of Wands twice here, and it is on your side. So I feel like the chemistry between you and this person off the charts. And when you first met each other, it may have been like a very passionate um, connection where both of you may have felt like it was just a fling or it was just something that wasn't, not that it wasn't going to go anywhere, but I feel Now, I don't really tend to talk about this, but maybe you felt like this person's mojo. Oh, yeah. Uh, either you... Now, they're showing me some of you, not all of you. There's a small percentage of you here um, that I'm picking up on. You and this person, it's almost like... You both met each other at a point where either you'd broken up with other people or both of you were very broken individuals when you first met each other, okay? And it's almost like your passion between both of you was like a bandage or a band-aid, if that makes sense. So when you both met each other, you actually, there's trauma bonding here, <clears throat> excuse me, trauma bonding first and foremost with this twin flame connection. So either you and your person both had broken up from other people and there was a lot of wounding there that hadn't been processed uh, because we got the tower there, which is a very sort of like, it's like a, it happened really fast. Both of you just met each other and it just went intensely. Like it was, both of you leapt into this passionate exchange and there was something that hadn't been processed. I hope this makes sense. So either you and this person had some sort of wounding beforehand and you both said, I'm not going to get into a deep loving relationship. I'm just going to have fun. And then you both meet each other, twin flames, meet each other and it's like, OMG, this is love. And then it's almost like I want to say both of you initially were the runner. That's what I feel. It's almost like both of you are like, oh, this is love. Breaks on, breaks on. Oh, let's stop. Let's think about this. I don't know whether I can get into this. This is deep, okay? That's what I'm feeling from these two cards. How would you like to choose? The Hermit in the Reverse, okay? The Hermit in the Reverse basically means you don't want to repeat any past situations and both feeling a little bit stuck. Both of you may have felt lonely um, when you first met each other. But also, there's an experience here of not wanting to go too fast but you just both couldn't help it. Now, either you're dealing with someone who's uh, Scorpio, Aries, or uh, Virgo. It uh, could also be a little bit of Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Page of Cups. I mean, from the very beginning, though, Scorpio, for you and this person, it was love, and it is deep. It is very deep, okay? This person, both of you are very curious about each other, but there's something, it's almost like both of you I almost want to say you and this person coming together is like a big cataclysmic event where it was, it changed everything. It was sudden. It was interesting. It was passionate. It was like 
none of you knew that you were falling so deep into this. None of you maybe were even aware it was twin flame. I almost want to say this is both of you and your twin, male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy. It's almost like both of you tumbled down immediately into this depth of flames, of passion, yearning for each other. But the crown chakra is actually ignited, which means both of you knew that this was something special, something other. Some, both of you knew that you, you'd met someone that would always be in your life, okay? But I feel both of you, there's just an energy here of both of you using passion for intimacy at first because you may have been hurt by other situations in the past. Now, I hope that makes sense because that's, whoever's energy I'm picking up here, I just feel like it's, it's, it's such a huge event, you and this person. I mean, to have the page of cups there though, it's love from the very beginning. This tends to mean a surprise, surprise love. Uh, then we've got the tower, which is a major surprise, a sudden, but it's like passion. Both of you knew that you, it's almost like both of you knew you wanted to be together. The hermit is like, oh, I don't have to be on my own anymore. It's you, I'm meant to be with you, but they're not showing me what happened. Can you show me what the blockage is in this connection? Anxiety, nine of swords, trust issues. So either you and this person um, are overthinkers. Uh, both of you, there's a lot of anxiety here. Maybe your twin or you at the time, my beautiful Scorpio had depression or were getting over something. This is what I keep getting. Nine of cups. Nine of cups is when it's in the reverse, it means to fast track something or look for quick results. And both, this was a very quick connection. Um, also, I feel both of you and your twin were very goal-oriented when you first met each other, very uh, ambitious, and I feel either you or your twin chose ambition. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is like, uh, in the reverse, it's like, uh, maybe... I just get this energy of either your twin was... Um, focusing on money and they didn't have they, they felt like they were in a lot of debt they couldn't connect to a, a love relationship they wanted to connect to ambition I'm gonna go one more yeah I mean this person admires you both of you are getting the six of wands so both of you actually admire each other quite a lot and you both hold each other in high esteem but I feel a lot of anxiety made the connection disconnect but also i get this energy either you or your person wanted to be in the public eye or maybe even your now don't shoot the messenger when i say this my beautiful scorpio um sometimes when we have trauma um we seek validation okay so either your person or you, my beautiful Scorpio, right now I can't tell because I feel it's the same on both sides. I feel there's some sort of experience. Now, twin flames tend to have similar experiences as well. I'm not saying you're egotistically looking for validation, but I feel both of you How can I put that? It's either both of you were very ambitious when you first met and you're both looking for success in your careers and it was like the wrong time or it can mean that there's like a an energy here of both of you needing to be seen not by other people not necessarily to be flirtatious but I feel like there's there's a playfulness here between you and your person that somehow got misconstrued as seeking validation with others. So there could be some jealousy. Either you felt like your person, your twin flame was looking at other people or flirting with other people or your person felt this, that way about you. I feel like both of you, there is an insecurity that matches here, okay? Um, I'm gonna go separate card with that six of wands because it keeps showing up for me here for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Um, can you please guide? Page of Wands, yeah. So it's almost like the Page of Wands is someone who's free, easy, you know, uh, you know, 
excited to experience new things, life, um, someone who's bold, seeking adventure, not really looking to settle down per se, but curious about passion. And so I feel like both of you misconstrue this passion as the other being a player or the other wanting to just have the physical side of a relationship. That's what I keep coming up with, okay? But both of you, deep down, there is love. Um, we got the Seven of Wands here. So they're showing me that you're very, very strong and you persevered with this connection. Also, you're a nonconformist, my beautiful Scorpio. So this person could not control you because I've got an energy here of control in some way. They may have wanted to see you on their terms at some point, sometimes, or they may have... Uh, tried to I just influence the direction of the relationship is what I'm getting. The Seven of Wands, now if you're asking me if this is your twin flame connection, I feel this is your twin flame that you're dealing with. Uh, if it was a false flame, then there would definitely be some very toxic energy going on in the relationship. But I, I don't feel like that at this time. But I haven't connected to the outcome energy, so I will let you know. But I feel, as you can see, even though there is a lot of depth to you, my beautiful Scorpio, I feel like you are marked by every experience. And it feels very, very difficult to let go of some things um, that have hurt you or marked you. I mean, look at this. This strong man here, again, male or female, not a gender-specific reading. We've got love etched on his shoulder there. Uh, there's fight or flight in the gut instinct. There's also a toxic sign there. I feel like you've experienced, there's an anchor there for emotions. I feel like you've experienced the wide range of emotions with this person and they've really marked your experience with regards to love. There was a lot of drama in this connection is what they're showing me. I feel right now you are thinking about I feel like your temptation you're, there's a little bit of temptation here to resist the challenge of the twin flame connection because I feel a withdrawal, like you've stepped back. I feel like part of you is becoming the runner, okay, which is meant to happen. Three of wands. Three of wands can be that you are um, like looking at your other options. You're focusing on other opportunities and... I feel like you're trying to align yourself with your heart's desire, but you realize that the sea is golden with other opportunities because you feel like you've wasted a lot of time with this particular twin flame connection. King of Cups in the reverse. You may have felt like it was emotional manipulation here. You've definitely withdrawn. You've changed. You've changed the way that you operate in this. King of Cups energy in the reverse is like you've withdrawn your love. Because you may have felt like this person emotionally manipulated you or uh, they had a lot of indecision. You know what you want, Scorpio. You wanted this person. But because this person did not come forward, the Knight of Cups in the reverse there shows that you've stepped back. This person had unrealistic expectations. Either they expected you to wait until they had a career or they wanted you to wait or they led you down the garden path in some way. Because you feel like you cannot trust this person. And we've got the death card. You're showing up very strong here. You've changed. And I feel like you're, you're empowering yourself. Although I feel like you come in peace. I feel like you're not really raging a war against this person. I feel like there is still compassion. But I feel like you're looking to change or have a new start. You're transitioning. And I feel like you're focusing on your goals and your dreams rather than your twin flame connection, especially since we've got a nine of cups here. You're looking for happiness and harmony, peace and serenity, fulfillment. And I feel like you are going through a cycle where you're seeking joy and fulfillment in relationships rather than being the person who fixes people because I feel like you have a tendency to attract people who need fixing in some way and your twin flame was an amplification of that okay the twin that we meet tends to amplify 
triggered behavior or things that we need to process within ourselves. So if you look back on previous relationships, my beautiful Scorpio, you may have noticed that you have always gravitated towards someone who needed healing or who required a partner who was stronger because they're showing me like a, a lighthouse. It's almost like you are the light in the storm. But your emotions, my beautiful Scorpio, when they're riles, they can be the storm itself. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like you tend to attract people who are um, seeking a strength that you almost share with them. So you may have noticed that you fix, I don't want to say fix people because that's not, that's not your job on this, this earthly plane. It's almost like you give the person courage, you give the person uh, confidence and they walk by your side. They naturally sort of pick up your energy. And then when they feel strong enough, they take a step back because there's a trauma bond to start with. Okay. I'm just going to leave it there with that because it just keeps coming up. Um, with your person, the one who stands. Now, again, male or female, not a gender-specific reading, even though it says she who stands. Um, I'm using it as the one who stands. It says resolute, implicable, determined. This person's not giving up on this love, Scorpio. Even though I see you taking a step back, you... I feel like you don't trust this person anymore. So once the trust is gone, what's left? And I feel like you're asking yourself those things. But this person... Um, there's something about this person's eyes as well that sometimes they can seem very, very cold because I feel like this person's been a product of their environment. They're wearing an armor and as you can see, they've got like extra around the rib cage, around the heart. So this person, and the sword is pointed down. This person does not readily open up about their emotions. This person's very, very guarded. And I feel like they, because they're showing me this, skull my guides are pointing at the skull on the sleeve this person had a, a a relationship that did not work out before you a failed relationship now of course there's no such thing as failure only learning but i feel it really damaged this person and okay they're showing me it confused them when they met you because they didn't they were not looking for love when they first met you they were looking for a fling or they were looking for a passionate connection with somebody but they didn't expect to feel love they'll give me a song right now one moment please deep down i'm all confused about you i feel so in love oh baby i do I've been thinking about you. Oh, I've been thinking about you. Okay. Um, mm. Now, I have heard that song before, but I can't tell you who sang it because I probably heard that song about a million years ago. So I can't really, I can't really uh, tell you what that song is. I'll have to look it up in the lyrics. Um, but yeah, that song has obviously come from the energy of they feel very confused. I mean, Scorpio, Humans are very complex creatures, as you know, and whenever we think of someone as being confused, especially when we know our own truth and we know what we want, it's very hard for us to try and understand how someone could want you and still be confused. Because I feel like you are you can feel this person's energy. You can feel that this person loves you. You know that this person loves you. You know that this person is your twin. So how can they be confused? Um, I feel like this person, there's something from childhood with this person. Ace of Pentacles, they are coming forward and they don't want to fast track this, I feel, but yeah, they don't want to rush this and Knight of Swords is in the reverse. Queen of Wands, they find you very, very attractive. What? This person walked away. They. They walked away from love, but they're coming back. I'm going to ask a very s specific question why they walked away from love, because I'm not getting it right now. As you can see, the Ace of Pentacles, this person wants in. This person has got an Ace of Swords, an Ace of Pentacles, and an Ace of Cups. They got Ace of Cups twice. This person loves you. They want to offer you their love. They don't want to fast track this. I also feel this person was... 
sometimes verbally unkind towards you or not in an abusive way. I just want to get that straight. If anyone's abusive physically, mentally, uh, emotionally, I feel that that's toxic, of course, and very immature behavior. And that's not twin flame. I just want to put point that out there. But I feel this person, they try, they pushed you away. They may even like gone silent. It's almost like they, they wanted you to walk away from them, but because they feel like they're not deserving. Okay. This person didn't know what they wanted when they met you. Okay. Uh, this person, I mean, this is what they're offering, but they walked away. Now they may have walked away in search of just passionate connections with other people. I can't, I'm not picking up on a third party situation in this, but I feel like this person stepped away. They ran away from love. That's, I just keep getting this person run away from the depth of your love. And it's not nothing to do with you, my beautiful Scorpio. The depth of your love is the thing that this person keeps coming back for. So I feel like this person will come back. If they haven't already, they will come back to talk. Queen of Pentacles. If you're dealing with a Virgo, this person did not want to settle down. They wanted to wait until they were older. Doesn't have to be a Virgo there, though. This Four of Pentacles, this person did not want to open up to vulnerability. Also, this person was looking for long-term security in terms of their finances. They were not looking for love when they met you. Yeah, Eight of Wands. This person thought that they could delay. So I, f I feel like this person felt very stuck financially as well when they first met you. They felt like they had nothing to offer. Now, this person is a little bit more logical than you. Uh, and what I mean by that, not in a a detrimental way because you're very you're very logical and very strategic uh you've got a beautiful mind my beautiful scorpio and you're very intelligent as well but what i mean by that um this person thinks with their head whereas you think not only with your head but with your passion and your heart the person you're dealing with your twin flame is very logical this person goes i need to sort out my career i need to get money i need to be able to have all these things in play before i settle down because i feel like this person when they settle down they play for keeps and that's exactly what you do too, my beautiful Scorpio, but you are willing to jump in. You don't care what money this person's got. You don't care whether this person's got fast cars, houses, a career. Uh, I mean, of course, it's nice for stability and things like that because we all need to pay bills, but you just love this person. And it was as simple as that. But I mean, Seven of Wands is also someone who's very, very guarded. And you may have been very guarded when you first met this person, even though this person was everything you wished for. And this person was also guarded. So it's two people at a stalemate energy where nobody's opening up. But we got the Ace of Cups. This is their intention now. Ace of Cups and the Chariot. They want to come towards you with love. They, they've changed. And they want to, they're dreaming of possibilities with you. This person's being really optimistic. But I feel like they're going to meet a very, very different Scorpio because you cannot treat a person a certain way and then expect to just come back on in without addressing the hurt, the damage and the things that have been triggered from the past. So the Ace of Cups, this person loves and they also see you as an extension of themselves. This person, uh, they see the, they see their own reflection in you. They see that you they know that you are their twin. OK. Uh, they also see that even if they travel the whole world, this is what I'm hearing right now, even if they travel the whole world, my beautiful Scorpio, they can't stop thinking about you. You are the one, okay? They're showing me all these butterflies that this figure could be focused on. There's thousands of them there, but there's that one that's caught their eye, and that's you. They're showing me that you're the one that's caught their eye, and they can't get away from that, okay? Uh, and the chariot card, this person is removing obstacles to move forward, but I do feel like this person was a very ambitious person. This person may be at a little bit of a distance from you. Also, this person, when they reach out to you, they may tell you that either they're going on a road trip or that they just bought a car or something like that. Um, because I feel like this person is, they're instigating conversation. But I feel like at this time, you're not interested. And I feel you're focusing on yourself at this time. So when this person reaches out, I feel like you take a step back. But this person will pursue you. They're showing me this person will pursue you. Okay. Um, now, 
the first energy is your person's the second is yours so the one who flies dare do reach and I, I think I was saying there's something about this person's eyes that they were cold they're showing me these eyes again but the way they're showing me is their eyes soften when they're with you you may have noticed that yourself this person's eyes soften when they're with you this person doesn't let many people in this twin flame that you're dealing with okay the one who flies so either this person is at a distance or they're actually going to fly to you or they're, they're either going to tell you about a road trip or i mean maybe even a vacation they're flying somewhere because they're, they're just showing me this person traveling or maybe they travel for work and that's that's another reason why you and this person are at a distance but this person's going to make a bold move to reach out towards you is what they're showing me okay and their bold move is the ace of swords they're coming to talk this person is very clear about what they want now this person sees that you are their destiny there's something about you my beautiful scorpio you changed their life and you made them look at love in a different way and it scared them that's why they cut it off now they do this my guides give me this sometimes um when they want to explain security someone you know protecting their heart so they're giving me this analogy and apologies if you heard this before but my guides are giving it to me so I have to give it again if for example you've got a very expensive watch or even a very expensive ring or whatever okay piece of jewelry and it costs you a lot of money you save really uh, a long time and it's worth a lot of money but you're worried about losing it or having it stolen or things like that or breaking you don't wear it all the time if you're just walking out to the store or you're just like going somewhere you may wear like a piece of costume jewelry or something like that and you've got your really expensive stuff for special occasions think of that in the terms of twin flame this person this person saw that this relationship or they loved the love the depth of love that they had for you was so intense that if they lost you because you left them they would be annihilated so in order to regain the power or regain control of the situation this person thought it was best to leave to protect themselves from hurt now that sounds like a bit of a cop-out when it comes to, to life and love but sometimes humans do odd things like that so uh, in order to regain control or composure for example you know that you love this person scorpio but you're guarded as much as you want to open your heart and say this is me you've done this already it's difficult to open up to this person now after everything that's happened seven of wands right so this is you your person is also a mirror of this knight of pentacles this person didn't offer that's why you were guarded and i feel this person is also guarded i'm, gonna, I'm just gonna pull a quick card on can you please clarify this ace of swords ace of wands this is what you got here you're going to meet this person thinking that they just want you for um an intense chemistry lesson let's put it that way so i feel like you mistrust their communication feeling like they just want to get between the sheets um but i also feel with this ace of wands my guides are um they're sort of pointing that this person has an urge to message you they have an urge to speak with you they want to hear your voice they want to message you i feel like this person may even branch out and call you okay um but this person is going to take the initiative to message you you're not going to be rushing after this person anything more the death guard they just have you whoa huh. now that just came out how would you like to receive omg that just came out totally there was never an accident that just came out this person wants to repair it with scorpio this is you my beautiful scorpio this person they've got you on their mind and the eight of pentacles is they want to repair eight of pentacles is repair this person wants to work on repairing the damage that is in the connection and they're going to instigate it um we also have the page of cups for your person this person is going to offer their love 
They're very curious about what you're up to. Uh, this person may be a little bit younger than you. Doesn't have to be, but I get this person um, offering a solution or offering to meet with you for a drink is what I'm seeing. And this person, I feel like they want to tell you how successful they are in their career now. Uh, they also want to... Six of Wands is all about good news, um, recognition. This person recognizes that they love you, that they've always known it, but they see, it's almost like both of you together with that Six of Wands, you could be a power couple, a uh, very rewarding relationship if you come into balance. And the fact that you've both got the Six of Wands, it means you're both closer to being with each other if you want to be. Now I must sort of highlight that we all have free will. If you don't want to be with your person anymore, my beautiful Scorpio, um, that's your free will. But I feel that although you're guarded, you haven't 100% given up on this connection. But it has marked you. And I feel like you don't trust this person and they've got to prove to you um, with actions rather than words. Because I feel like you mistrust their words. You feel like they're very... I just, I just keep wanting to say actions over words actions over words and this person is coming with action this time okay uh, now they're also showing me an image in the water and they just said i just heard amethyst beetle amethyst beetle so amethyst beetle either that's an actual piece of jewelry or you're going to come across an actual amethyst beetle or I'm not sure if there's 100% an amethyst beetle out there, whether that's a true thing or whether, because amethyst, I think, is like, it's a crystal, right? So I'll have to check to see if there is a, such a thing as an amethyst beetle. My guides are telling me it's a species of scarab beetle. Okay. Uh, it's almost like they're show. well, I'm, I was going to tell you what they're showing me in the water right now. Uh, I've got a hand that's like that opening up and they're showing me a beetle in the center and they're saying amethyst beetle. So either this person is going to send you an image, your twin is going to send you an image of an, uh, an amethyst beetle or they gave you a gift of an, an amethyst beetle. I, I don't really know how to decode this other. My guides are telling me this is for you, Scorpio. You have the ability to transform life itself and survive difficult situations. You have spiritual gifts is what they're giving me. It also means rebirth, renewal, resurrection. Oh, I understand what they're showing it to me for now. So, okay. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Okay. That's a very complex image to give me. So... Scarab beetles uh, tend to sort of like, you know, they spend all their day like, you know, I don't know how to say this in a really <laughs> pleasant way, but they sort of roll up piles of dung, right? Um, so they're really hardworking scarab beetles, but they break it down for the good of the ecosystem is what they're showing me and here I keep hearing. Um, and it's almost like you've got to break down, you've got to remove all the C-R-A-P, before you can get to the heart of the matter. And then you and this person can actually breathe new life into this twin flame connection. Whoa. Scarab beetle, amethyst beetle. Sorry, that's how they're saying it. It's very staccato because I'm just repeating what they're giving me. Scarab beetle, amethyst beetle equals eternity, eternity. Okay, so they're, they're, they're trying to show me that this relationship is eternal. Okay, that was very complex. I'm going to disconnect from that because I can't really... It may be a, simple, a symbol that you're going to see over the next couple of weeks, my beautiful Scorpio, before the end of August. Either you're going to see an image of a scarab beetle. I'm going to say amethyst beetle because that's what they gave me. Uh, I'll have to look that up and see what that looks like because I can't tell you. Um, well, I can see a beetle in the water. It's got like it's got very long pincers at the front as well. It's what they're showing me. Um, so either you've just been watching a documentary on it, or it's just before you see this image. 
or just after, you will get a message from your twin. It'll be two days either side is what they're showing me. So look out for that. An amethyst beetle. I'm going to leave it like that, okay? We've got the one who instigates leadership, provocation, power. Now, the thing that you're instigating here, though, is the seven of swords. Because these two cards... This is how your person feels about your actions, three of swords. And then we've got the six of wands. You focusing on career or, you know, I feel like you just want to be seen in this connection because you feel like this person is either dangling a carrot or something like that. And I feel like you're focusing on your goals and dreams instead. Seven of swords is someone who is the runner. And as you can see, she is protecting that egg close to her heart. So I feel like, You've learnt to protect yourself in love, my beautiful Scorpio. And, I mean, both images there replicate a snake. So snakes tend to be about shedding skin, rejuvenating your energy. So I feel like you are renewed in, an, in a way where you're leaving the past behind. Even though you want to be with your twin flame deep down, I feel like you're trying to leave this person behind or try to change the way that you react to this situation or respond to the situation because you don't trust seven of swords can mean either this can also mean that you're not telling them something okay so let me just pull a card on that for you this is your energy the outcome for your energy ace of cups scorpio you love this person you both want the same thing. When both of you are getting the same cards, they got the Ace of Cups, you got the Ace of Cups. They got the Six of Wands, you got the Six of Wands. It means both of you are very close to becoming together in union. You love this person, even though you walk away from this person, even though you run away from this person, even though you guard yourself against this person. You love this person. I get this energy of you wishing things could be different, that you could open up in a way, but something has marred this connection. So it has almost made it skewed. Can you please clarify anything further? The magician. The magician in the reverse indicates that you do feel scattered in your energy. You may have felt like you wasted your time, but and you recognize there's unfulfilled connection. There's unfulfilled energy in this connection or unfulfilled potential in this connection. But still, you just don't trust. And when the trust is gone, we all have to ask what is left. Knight of Cups. It keeps showing up for you, Scorpio. You love this person, but you're not offering their love. So you're waiting for them to come towards you. Now, of course, depending on what this person's actions were towards you, it may be warranted that you're stepping away from this person. But you're... You're doing one of the strongest thing ever, Scorpio, which is, and that's probably why you got the strong man card. Um, even though you love this person, you've withdrawn and taken yourself away in order to protect your heart. One of the most difficult things you can do to walk away knowing that there is love. So I'm sending you the hugest hug I have to offer to you all out there, my beautiful Scorpio. I understand why you, you stepped away even when there's still love. You may feel like this person betrayed you as well. You may feel, feel like this person betrayed you first or hurt you first. And it's not that you're playing a game. I feel like you're protecting your heart. The High Priestess. You may feel like this person's got a secret. I feel like you know this person's secret and you're waiting for this person to be honest and open with you before you can trust them. The High Priestess in the reverse you may feel that this person sometimes is a mystery, but either they kept secrets from you or you feel like you're chalking this twin flame connection up to a loss. You're walking away, but the, the high priest says in reverse is like, you don't trust this person. There's mistrust here. Okay. Now this person... Uh, 
sorry, that one, that one's theirs, which I'll discuss in a moment. And then that one's yours, which I'll discuss in a moment. As you can see, we've got the Ace of Wands here and the Hermit. You're not looking for a fling. You're looking for something deeper. That's why you're remaining in a solitary energy. You're very creative. You're very talented at what you do. You have a lot of passion, but I feel like you become weary and tired of this person's up the way that they operate and I feel like either you're older or more mature than this person spiritually I feel like you're looking for something special and this person hasn't really stepped up to the plate to offer it but I feel like this person's going to go out of their way to do that now they want to show you this person wants to raise you up they want to show you there's love but you feel like this person's coming towards you for chemistry okay um, the hermit energy suggests that you're going to remain in a solitary energy, but it can also be that you are renewing your faith. You're taking your time to connect to yourself, to renew your faith in yourself, but also in love itself. Cause I feel like you've lost hope in love in general. And you may have gone off grid or you may have become very solitary right now that you felt you are trying to reconnect with your passion. And that's more important right now than connecting with your twin. Uh, your twin, how do they feel about that? Three of Swords, pain, difficulty. I feel like this person had a lot of sorrow and despair before you met this person. But I feel this person, they're not gonna give up on trying to win you over. I feel like they'll see it as a challenge to try and prove to you. And the Six of Wands here. Now the Six of Wands, I feel... If this person recognizes their part in causing pain in the union and wants to process it and talk it over with you, I feel like you'd be willing to connect with this person. But I do see you focusing on your goals, your dreams, trying to be a success within your um, workspace. I mean... If you're retired, for example, I feel like you're focusing on your hobbies, things that you are passionate about, things that you're trying to achieve. But I do feel like you and this person will have a discourse. You will have a com conversation. But I feel like you may make this person work for it because of the way that things have occurred in the past. Okay. I'm just going to see if there's anything more before I close the reading. Can you please clarify for my beautiful Scorpio? What was lost between you? will now be found. The Five of Pentacles in the reverse basically means there was a lot of abandonment issues in this connection. So either this person, uh, either they had a, either you or this person, because you have twin flames follow a same journey, um, similar journey in, in life. Both of you have, that's an abandonment issue is a trigger. Okay, and the Five of Pentacles is a card of abandonment issues. But when we got it in the reverse there, it means hope returns. It also means uh, both of you f find sanctuary in each other. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Oh, these are, it's almost like they're showing me triggers. Abandonment issues, rejection, solitary energy, separation. This is, I feel like this is the way it went. Abandonment and rejection, solitary energy, four of swords. Both of you are meant to spiritually um, ascend on your own. You're meant to regroup your energy, connect to things like meditation. Five of cups. They want two more, so I'm going to give it. Thank you so much. Queen of cups. Three of wands. Okay, so what am I seeing? I'm seeing this person abandoned and rejected you. They rejected your love. And I feel like you can't get over that with the Five of Cups. It's just, it's something that replays and replays and replays. Just when you want to believe that this person loves you, you're like, but why? Why did you disconnect? But why? Why did this, this something beautiful get ruined here? Why? So I feel like there's an element here. It's very difficult to disconnect from the, past, from the past. Now, the Queen of Cups is a very important card that's in the upright here. 
Because the Queen of Cups is someone who is very compassionate, who gives their love regardless, and sometimes can be taken advantage of, Scorpio. And I feel like this is something that happened to you in this connection. I do feel like your person was abandoned or had abandonment issues, and they rejected this connection because they felt it would be better to keep control but I feel both of you look back at this that it could have been something really beautiful. But it has the potential to be something really beautiful in the future. Because if we focus on the on the past, we're not embracing the future. And as you can see, there's two cups here, which represents twin flame soulmate energy. So partnership. So I feel like you and this person have the potential to be together. The three of wands, though, I just keep getting this energy that you are looking for something new, Scorpio. You're looking elsewhere. Um, so I'm just going to get a final card before, before we close the reading uh, will this person reach out to you I, I feel if they haven't already I feel like they will reach out to you they want me to go one more so I will um, they give me the number 17 so by the 17th of August, I feel this person would have reached out to you, sent you a message. I feel like this person want to, wants to either meet up for a drink or they're going to tell you if they're at a distance from you, I feel like they're going to tell you that they're in your area and they would like to meet. I feel like this person wants to have a conversation with you, uh, but I feel like you're stepping back from this, okay? Um, the beetle thing is a signifier so look out for that uh, we've also got B community and it says you are a powerful creator your work blesses everything you touch be open to receiving sweetness you are the queen of abundance now Scorpio this is what I feel you are working really hard I feel like you are working on gaining accolades and rewards very ambitious. I also feel like your person was the same, but I feel like you're working really hard towards your happiness because the sunflower actually follows the sun throughout the day. So I feel like you are going where your happiness goes. And I feel like this person, this twin flame, did not make you feel happy long term. Maybe in the moment, but because both of you were meant to be separated so that you can work on your mission. Um, but as you can see, and now this is your person's card, uh, butterflies. I feel like both both of you have changed, but your person is obviously seeing that in the 5D, you're together and they want to be with you in the 3D. I feel like this person has sent you a lot of messages. If you have not been thinking about this person recently, then perhaps I'm not picking up on your energy. But I feel if you've been thinking about your twin quite heavily in the last couple of days and you don't know why, it's because this person's been thinking about you and they're reaching out to you, okay? The, the butterflies represent change and transformation. It says here, infinite possibilities. You are the sovereign of the seen and unseen world. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of life. Abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. And there's two unicorns there. Unicorns are important. So I feel like, and you know, they're, they're almost identical there as well. So I feel like you and this person, you have infinite possibilities to be back together in union. But I feel for August, what you're going to get is a conversation. Let me see. Can you tell me about relationship in August? Because I see a conversation. Temperance, patience, balance. You're going to be mixing things up. You, both of you are going to be sort of aligning yourself with uh, your true heart's purpose um, I feel like you're going to be re-examining priorities between you both. And I feel like both of you will, you can find a way towards happiness. As you can see, there's a wonderful pathway over the mountain there towards the sun. So you and this person with patience you and hard work, of course, you can both find a way. You can't fast track it. Nine of cups again in a reverse. You can't, you can't fast track this. It will take time, okay? Now, you may not be looking for a project, my beautiful Scorpio, because I feel like maybe you've been dealing with one for a while, but it depends on what your heart wants. So I'll leave it there. Um, I'm just going to get a trinket before we close. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, these were literally together like this, so I couldn't, I couldn't feel what I got, and I close my eyes when I'm picking the trinkets. The first thing we've got is the peace symbol. Now, this person may actually say they want peace or they want, you know, like when 
the flag of surrender i feel like that's important as well this person wants to surrender they want peace they want a peaceful loving connection and they may actually send you a symbol a peace symbol or you'll see one just before this person reaches out to you but we've also got the engagement ring so you and this person, you have the potential to be in a committed union with this person. But August is all about conversation and messages back and forth. Recognizing each other's feelings in the relationship, how you both felt, and both are valid. I feel like this person was not looking for love when they first met you. I feel part of you was not expecting love with this person but i feel this is what is the potential for you and this person to have okay um oh my gosh they want me to put each one on the six of wands both you and your person have got six of wands and six of wands okay so they want me to put it i mean six six of wands and six of wands is success good news victory both of you coming together in balance. Six is the number of balance. Six is also the number of the lover's card, okay? So six is important. And both of you are coming into frequency where you can come into union, okay? So I just want you to be aware of that. Okay, so I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading, my beautiful Scorpio. Unfortunately, I do see you taking a step back, especially with that hermit energy. I feel like you're going off grid, but this person will reach out towards you and um, let me know how it goes, okay? So I'll leave it there. Hope something resonates in this reading. If it does, please like and subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very, very important for me too. And again, apologies for the length of time it took me to do this reading. I was very unwell there for a bit. Um, not 100% back to best. You may be able to tell with the energy. It's a little bit bumpy sometimes, um, but I'm nearly there. So thank you for bearing with me. Thank you so much, my beautiful Scorpio. Love and light.